Here's a summary of some of the features of the gamma distribution. First of all, the gamma distribution is a generalization of the exponential distribution. Basically what the gamma distribution does is it adds an extra parameter, which is a shape parameter. The probability density function of the gamma distribution is f of x is equal to lambda to the kappa power, x to the kappa minus 1, e to the minus lambda x divided by gamma of kappa, and that is on a positive support. There are two parameters in the gamma distribution. The first is lambda, and it is a positive scale parameter. The second is kappa, and kappa is a positive shape parameter. The mean and the variance have nice tractable closed forms expressions. The mean mu, which is the expected value of x, is kappa over lambda. And the population variance sigma squared, the variance of x, is kappa divided by lambda squared. There are three important special cases of the gamma distribution. The first is the gamma distribution collapses to the exponential distribution when kappa equals 1. So that one right there is a special case. The second one is the Erlang distribution uh, is a special case when kappa is some positive integer k. And finally, the third, the, uh, the gamma distribution collapses to the chi-squared distribution when lambda is equal to 1 half and when the parameter kappa is k over 2 where k is an integer that is known as the degrees of freedom. And in the example, which was just finished on the previous slide, the, the Erlang distribution and the Poisson distribution, namely a continuous distribution and a discrete distribution, were used to uh, solve that particular problem.